Hey guys, so today the lords at Neverone Studios have dropped a Cetrion reveal trailer. I'm incredibly hyped for this character. Definitely check out the trailer on the Game Informer website. I'm not going to be viewing the whole trailer, but uh, we're just going to be having a quick look at some parts of it and just talking about the character in general. So. She looks like she's got some anti-zoning tools. She looks like she's got some decent strings. I mean, that's definitely a mid into a low or a high into a low. There's her grab animation. Looks like she's got very reminiscent of Tremor's zoning, a very fast boulder throw. Now, the one thing to note there that was really important, actually, before we move on to this, this rain bit, is when she was doing um, the boulder throws here. Now, either this is a gear ability where she gets a, a like a ground one and a, and a high one, or she can just pick to throw it down or upward. And obviously there, there's a crushing blow mechanic as well. So she has a crushing blow built into the high one. I'm going to assume that if, you're, uh, if you hit your opponent in the air, it will trigger the crushing blow. Don't know what the damage is on the crushing blow. Obviously this is a trailer. Some water here as well, and a little bit a little bit of a cheeky icicle there, the Amplify. Now, whether she's going to get any nice setups in the corner or not, remember, guys, I mean, I love set play. I love command grabs and set play. They're my, they're my two sort of favorite character archetypes. So, it like, <clears throat> if she's got a command grab, that's amazing. But if she's got any way to set play opponents or anything like that, and we'll go on to some more things in the trailer um, that look quite juicy, I I'm all in there. So, if anybody's wondering what character I'm looking at, so far, Cetrion fits the bill. Another, uh, this is an interesting one as well, actually, let's go back, because Crushing Blows are going to define a lot of the metagame for a lot of the characters. So here, she does this, and it slams on the face. Now, there's a few things to think. We don't know how many times this was used before this activated. Maybe she grabbed them a few times, but it does look like she has access to a full screen low, very similar to Scarlet's um, blood. She's got like a, um, a blood... I, don't, I can't remember what it's called, it's like a, a ritual thing, and I think it's called Blood Ritual, and she can place it, and there's a crushing blow there as well. Now that, now that's an interesting string right there, might be unsafe on block, but that's a, oh, it's not even a string, that's a special, so it's one of the water specials, probably a game move, again, and we'll get on to, we'll get on to talking about this, because already we've seen quite a, a number of possible game moves. Um, but that looked like an overhead to me. Didn't look like much damage. However, she's gone into another move, probably a gear move, where it looks like she set up these rocks. And this screams set play to me. We see a counter hit with a juicy amount of on hit. And a, this looks like a high string. So this looks like a high string. A little bit of lava there. Going into the overhead boulder, I believe it looks like if it hits them on a punish, she gets a crushing blow. We don't know. Again, we don't know the follow-up to that. We don't know whether that's just a damage, a damage like a, a damage boost, a damage over time effect where you know after the combo that like the health slowly drains, or if it's a pop-up for a further combo. We, we don't know. Uh, one of the things I will say about Trace, she doesn't look like she's got many combos in terms of like pop-ups. So anti-zone in there, very very fast, very similar to Raiden's lightning rod. Looks like she can only do it in the air, and that and that would have hit. A normal character but jade obviously just goes straight through it one of the benefits of being a jade nice combo and again didn't really just look like she went for like a mid mid or a mid or a high mid just to get some space she does look like to me uh to be a zoning character with maybe a little bit of set play and that looks like a crushing blow on her throw nice gets a low there's the amplify that's what we're talking about okay so let's have a look at this sequence one more time High, mid, it looks like a high mid, goes into the low, don't know if this is a game move, this could be a, I think this is a standard move, this vine grab thing. Amplifies it, sets her on fire because she controls all the elements because she's a beast. Then catches them with another high into, a, into another ender. Now we've not seen this before, this looks like another game move. This just probably uh, is something that she might lack, like a, like a combo move ender that gives her a bit of damage, a little bit like Scorpion uses his flame dash at the moment, where he turn, like he grabs them and, and, and turns into his skull form. Uh, it could be a very similar thing to that. It could also be a base move. It's all speculation at this point, but my guess is that's to help her get a little bit more damage from combos, and that's what that setup will be. Again. Probably a game move, but just seeing stuff like this makes me happy. 
That looks to me like a high or something, and she can amplify it to do loads of damage. Again, setup looks cool. Just a basic string into the fatal blow. So we won't we won't sort of watch it further from there because to be honest with you, there really isn't much point. What I will say about the um, characters, it, it just in general, for the game is the design team is just knocking out the park. Like completely, it, like you could have a character that you don't like in a previous sort of installment. And in this game, you, you might like them. You know, I wasn't a fan of Kano. Not massive fan anyway. I just thought he was always, eh, you know, obviously a long time sort of, competitor in Mortal Kombat however just never really took the box for me on this game kind of excited to try him out he looks cool he's quite funny looks like he's got a really good unique move set it's crazy so let's just go on to the last thing I'm going to talk about in this video we're going to talk about the Game Informer also dropped the like what's going to happen in competitive play for variations I'm just going to quickly go over what what it what it means for people who enjoy competitive games and attend tournaments so that it's going to be a variation system like Mortal Kombat X it's not similar to Injustice 2 because Injustice 2 in competitive you literally just had the character you picked competitive cheater you just had competitive cheater in this game, there will be at least two different variations. So let's knock this back to Injustice 2. If I had Cheetah with two variations, one which helped against Zonas and one which gave her a better Grush Down game, I would have been much happier. But sadly, we got Bare Bones Cheetah where she literally had Lunge and Dive Kick and that was it. And uh, obviously the Command Grabs as well, but let's not talk about that. So already... People that are going to be panicking and fearing about the, the custom variation things. Already we know it's going to be in a better spot than Injustice. The second thing is, whatever reasons they give, it's going to be a balance and number of a... Fighting games are a nightmare to balance full stop. Right? I'm not going to go out there and say that's the main reason why they would do that. The main reason why they've done the specific set variations where they're able to just have... Right, these are balanced for tournament play is when you sit down to a competitor and you're against someone like, you know, Forever King, Tekken Master, or someone like that, they'll have a little notebook. You know, this is if it's custom variations, by the way. And and literally, for every, like, when their opponent picks a character on the select screen, he'll have this character picks this ability, this character picks this ability, this character picks this ability. And that's okay in terms of, you know, as a player, it allows them to show their skill. It allows them to show their lab work. There's nothing wrong with that. What, when, when it comes to be a problem is when you're in the, the character select screen and you're both just sat there and you have to get a TO over to blind pick your abilities because once you pick your three abilities, Tekken Master's eyed it up, he goes to his book, he changes it, you're like, oh, let me back out and change my abilities again, he checks again, like you're never gonna, you're never just gonna pick, you know? Uh, it's always going to be that back and forth sort of thing because it's so difficult to actually build build an in-game interface that allows you to select a character and select moves where you both have to do it the exact same time because you can't do that. You've got to have a little bit of extra time for people. You know, you can't just have it like, you select this move now. You could have a pick back. Like, I mean, let's be real. They could, they could go crazy. They could literally have character select where you pick your characters and then you can have like a like a, um, a Dota style pick and ban phase on abilities. And I'm not joking. They, they could have done this and it would have been, that would have really, of uh, it, like really, really set a thing. Like whoever's like, basically whoever gets to select the stage, they have to forfeit giving up the first ability. Maybe they're okay with that because they get to select the stage that favors the zoning archetype. They've already picked the characters, but obviously the matchup changes depending on the abilities. The first bands go out. You can't have this move. You can't have this move. All right. Okay. Second bands coming in. The, like it, it, it's crazy. They could have gone that route and that would have been, um, well, let's just say Dota's not doing badly on viewership. Let's let's just say Dota's doing absolutely fine. That was the one route that I can see. I've heard other things. Yupei mentioned, you know, just have the ability set to keybinds on your controller. But again, I think that's just way too much. Like, it's crazy. Is, is Tekken Master going to be burning burning a hole through your hand trying to trying to figure out which abilities you've selected? It to me, it's just it's too much. 
the the pick and ban phase thing of the abilities would have definitely added the most sort of craziness and, and the most sort of strategy and depth outside of the game. But ultimately, they've gone with the safe option. But do bear in mind, when they say it's easier to balance, guys, this game will not be balanced. Even with variations in place, there's going to be crazy stuff that's just too strong. There's going to be too stuff that's too weak. There's going to be cookie-cutter variations that it's going to see 95% of tournament play. We're going to see the same characters, mostly, with a little bit of adap adaptions on the side, with maybe a different variation pick here and there. But as we've seen in, in, you know, in anything competitive, not just fighting games, people, like look at V-Triggers on Street Fighter, people will in general pick the variation that's good in the matchup and that's it. They're not going to pick the off-the-cuff pick. They're not like, the, the, there's going to be very little freedom to go, well, in this matchup, I enjoy these two abilities with this ability because you can't do that. You're just going to have this ability or two abilities with another ability and that's it. So I didn't want to dribble on too long on this video. That's my thought on the, the variations thing. I still think the game's going to be awesome. And you know what? If after a year or so, people playing the game, the competitive scene decides that the variation thing's really limiting creativity, with, you know, it's, it's tournaments are stale, viewership's down. It's on the community to turn around and, and just say, well, let's start, let's start, you know, let's let's do our own custom tournaments, you know? Let's 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 get the hype there. Let's show NRS that we can get the viewership behind these tournaments. There's going to be plenty of character depth and variety, even though the skills aren't balanced. Um, people will find their own way, and and that that's just that's human nature. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Just super excited for the game. Just can't wait now. Uh, obviously, we'll, we'll see you guys next time.